to us, the perfect you is twin bearing, but in reality, triplet bearing ewes also come with running a high lambing percentage operation. Our aim is to maximise triplet survival and increase docking rates. We identify our triplet ewes at scanning and sort them into early, middle and late mobs. They are trained on to concentrate feeds in the paddock to prepare them for an increased proportion of concentrate feed in the lambing shed. Having experienced some metabolic problems in the second year, we are working harder this year to ensure they adapt to the feed better. We found the lucerne baleage we used had a high calcium content, so now have a formulated blend to match the used requirements based on advice from an animal nutritionist. The two key features of this nutritionally balanced feed a high magnesium and a rich protein content. The ewes move into the lambing shed about five days prior to lambing. Once the ewes lambed, she moves into an individual pen to bond with her lambs and is monitored closely. We take a sample weight of newborns to see how their birth weight compares each year. If all is well with the ewe and the lambs, they are moved into a mixing pen with three or four other ewes and lambs after about 8-12 to 12 hours to strengthen the mothering bond and prepare them for the paddock. They can be in the mixing pen for another 6-8 to eight hours. The ewes and lambs are indoors for an average of 4-5 to five days. The goal is to turn out more than 280% from the shed and dock at least 270%. In 2014 we turned out 290% but only docked 260% due to some extreme weather conditions. We'll be working on improving our docking rate in 2015. The highest cost to this system centre on labour and feed. The 2014 budget for labour in the lambing shed was $19,800, but we came in under that at $15,360. The total feed cost, including all baleage, outdoor feed and indoor feed, was $9,522. At docking, the lambs are all EID tagged and recorded as triplet lambs. Consequently, at weaning, triplet lambs can be identified and weaned at 50 to 60 days, fitting well with our early wean system. The average weaning weight of a triplet lamb is 21 kilos. By weaning these lambs early, we can put the ewes back on the hills and off higher producing flat country with specific crops available f to feed more lambs. The value of lambing our most vulnerable ewes indoors is harnessing her potential, maximising survival and reducing lamb and ewe losses. All of these combined not only tick our ethical farming practice boxes, they also are financial ones. By managing our triplet bearing ewes more effectively, we are improving our overall flock year on year. Having been finalists three times in the Golden Lamb Awards, affectionately known as the Glammies, we want to ensure our impressive record in the competition is maintained.